We're developing the world's best indie game portfolio across all PlayStation platforms by offering developers the ability to self-publish their own content. Yeah. That's right. The recently added indie section of the PlayStation Store enables fans to quickly find the newest and most popular titles. Our vision is crystal clear, to continue to lead the console space as the most open and inclusive platform for developers, while providing gamers with an endless variety of beautiful, challenging, and fantastic experiences. It's now my great pleasure to introduce a few of the new additions to the PlayStation family. Clay Entertainment. Their 2D artistry and classic approach to game design were evident in Shank and Mark of the Ninja. When their co-founder Jamie Chang first teased us with this wonderfully sinister new concept, an open-ended, randomly generated adventure where death lurks around every corner, we were hooked. Don't starve. Tribute Games. Before breaking out on their own, these founders made the totally awesome retro brawler, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. They're now preparing to unleash Mercenary Kings, a hand-drawn multiplayer shooter that brings intense retro-inspired mayhem to the PS4. Young Horses. We sent PlayStation 4 dev kits to the studio comprised of DePaul University grads in Chicago. Within only four weeks, they sent us back a playable version of their IGF-nominated game series. Octodad Dadliest Catch will stagger awkwardly onto PlayStation 4. Now, although historically accurate, this game does not contain giant enemy crabs. Switchblade Monkeys. This crew came together when a group of friends across multiple studios around the world broke off to pursue a new creative vision. Secret Ponchos blends the best elements of shooters and fighting games into a super stylish spaghetti western. Ragtag Studios. Ragtag is comprised of three industry veterans who Voltroned up to form a small studio. They were convinced that we wouldn't bother talking to them, so we put them on stage. This stealth action puzzler brings a lot of great humor to the PlayStation 4 and tasks you with recruiting a zombie army in Ray's quest to find out why he was killed. Red Barrels. This Montreal team was formed by talented industry veterans to create unforgettable single player experiences. When I played Outlast at PAX East, it scared the bejesus out of me. It's truly terrifying, a first person fright fest that you can check out in our booth. Odd World Inhabitants, Lauren Lanning. Right. Lauren was a fiercely independent game creator in an era when no small studio dared to even ask for creative control. The Odd World universe first emerged from his beautifully twisted mind on the PlayStation 1. And here at Sony, we've been massive fans of his unlikely heroes ever since. We're happy to announce that a full remake of the original, called Oddworld New and Tasty, is coming to PS4. 17-bit games. Anyone who has played Skulls of the Shogun knows this talented team at 17-bit games. A few months ago at the Full Indie Summit in Vancouver, their founder, Jake Kasdahl, snuck us out to his friend's house to demo his new game, Galaxy a side-scrolling open-world space shooter that I just couldn't stop playing. This is an incredible slate of content from a few of the amazing independent creative teams. We're welcome to the family. They give us an absolute richness and depth that can't be found anywhere else. And the best part, every single one of these games in the stage in front of you will be making their exclusive console debut on PlayStation 4.